Welcome to this uh, learning tutorial. This learning tutorial has been created to support students who wish to learn how to use the Frog VRE system. So I will now go back to the uh, quick uh, access. Now showing you, this is a place where you can easily access things. I can access my assignments, my calendar, my discover tool, and extra resource. When you go uh, in, in maybe in next year, you'll find that they will put more things for you. But for now, that's really what I want to show you. Now, before I actually show you how you can submit the work that has been given to you, I will need to go back to what we've done before. I want to go back to the home page. Like I said, we began off with uh, the student dashboard. That is a section that you can find lots of things to do with different departments. For now, the departments haven't really sorted their, their different spaces, so you just really concentrate on your dashboard. Now, one thing I want to show you before I show you how you submit your work is what I know you will enjoy. You, will li you are going to be liking this. This is called My Dashboard. That is the last uh, circle that I've touched. Now, My Dashboard is really for you. My dashboard, like it say, is for you. This is a section that you can customize. Customize means making it look pretty, making it to your own uh, interest, making it your own style. I will do a future tutorial to show you how we can customize your dashboard to make it look professional, to make it look like your own style. So for now, all I have shown you that you've actually been given a section called My Dashboard. And I know you don't know how to sort this out, but I will show you in another tutorial. We now go back to what we are meant to do today. So I will now click on my second uh, circle, which is called the timeline dashboard. Now, what if now I want to submit my work or I want to see the work my computing teacher sent me and it's here homework computing technology so I can see it from this teacher you know your teachers anyway and I can see when it was said so I want to know what numbers my teacher sent me so I'll click on this now remember I could have a, I could have come to this screen by going straight to my quick launch and I find assignment. So really, it's, there are many ways. Remember I told you, there are many, way, many ways to do the same thing. So I want to see my teacher. What's now happening? Because you've got so many teachers who have said to you work. When you come to assignments, you may not necessarily see your the teachers that you have clicked on. So I will click on next to see the teacher that I want. I want to see my computing teacher. And by the way, you can see the teacher's names anyway here. This is the subject. This is the date. Uh, the work is due in this is the date it was set now the progress shows you how much you've uh, you've act actually managed to submit so i'll click on the homework and passing my mouse over it i can even say more details about this exercise that my teacher sent me so i'll click on the homework now the same details that popped up when you passed your mouse are here so if the teacher tells you you need to complete the upcoming project homework you can do your homework in PowerPoint or Microsoft Word. See the homework project sheet for full details. So now, this information is here. Click here to download the file. Now, you can click here to download the file that your teacher has set you. So when I click on here and the file has been downloaded, I can say show uh, downloads and I can see it here. But for now, I'm not really going to go uh, over this. I'll just concentrate what we are showing. I believe you know how to find the file that you've downloaded so what if now you finished the work and you want to upload it to and send it to the teacher now this button upload when you click on this button upload it will allow you to find the file that you've really up uh, managed to complete for your teacher so choose the files now this file i'm actually choosing is coming from my computer you can find it. You got your documents. Because I'm organized, I will find my file quickly. So it's here. I'll open it. I'm not going to really submit this file because really I'm just demonstrating to you. But once, okay, I'll try it this time and show you quickly. Once it has uh, been uploaded, you actually see a green tick. Then you click on done. Now you'll be able to see this file here. But that doesn't mean, please, I'll repeat, that doesn't mean that the work has gone to your teacher. When you do this mistake, your teacher will tell you, I didn't see your work. When you know you've uploaded the file, that is, it's on the computer here, now you need to send it to your teacher by clicking on Submit Activity. You can also click on here 
complete assignment complete assignment also will do the same thing so i'm not going to submit this because i have not really done it so i've now shown you what if your work was on the frog drive because if you've been saving your work on the frog drive i will now click on frog drive and i'll find my work it's in here or it's in the folder now we, because it's already on the frog drive frog drive will tell you use it and once you click on use it it will appear in your assignments i'm not going to do this because i've already done it so at the moment i've shown you that i will go back to home yep and i showed you that when you go to home you had the three uh, buttons i'll refresh the system so that at least you see what we saw before the first uh, button uh, i mean was the dashboard the second one was the timeline dashboard and in this timeline dashboard it was really a quick way to quickly see what your teachers have said to you the assignments but when you see here you don't really know what the assignment is about the main section that will tell you more what the assignment is about is what we call the assignment section and when you click on the exercise you'll be able to be taken to the assignment section alternatively you can go to what we call the the quick launch the quick launch will ask you what you want i can now go to assignments it's the same way really click on the teacher you want and then click on the exercise to see what the teacher is asking you so now for now there's something before i go i wanted to show you this icon here which i'm touching looks on an email that actually when you click on it you can see all the messages that your teachers have been sending you it is to do for example i can see the student has got a message from mr fora regarding the an ancient uh, chinese research exercise you can see here for miss tomlin so really it's like an emailing tool now lastly this tool here it's saying application tray when i click on application tray it shows all the programs at the moment that i'm actually accessing if you don't want them you can click on x and they will disappear so application tray really shows you the applications that are running because when you open so many things in flow sometimes it can really freeze so now i will summarize you've now seen how you can access your work you have now seen how you can upload the file so now at the moment if i go back to the home page and remember we had our learning objectives now before we finish i believe now you know how you can access the frog vre system i showed you you when you go to the back of school and you find the frog link then you also know how to submit the work to your teacher I believe now you also know how to upload or download files from the frog drive you know frog drive is, is similar to your documents and I've also shown you how to use the frog discover and I've shown you that frog discover is really a fantastic research tool that you can help yourself with when you're doing your homework or any exercise in school now for now before we really finish i need to mention something there is only one way to become an expert or to become used at using this system is practice practice makes perfect now i need to stop here we have come to the end of this learning tutorial i hope you've learned something and i can help you in future tutorials what i need you to do is you just need to do what your teachers have set you to do and send them back now if you've got any trouble all I need you to do is you can pass uh, Tech 6 where I can always help you. I'll be willing to sit and uh, help you with anything you really need. So join me in future tutorials where I'll show you more things to do with uh, uh, Frog. So now I hope you've enjoyed yourself and thank you for being a good student. I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Goodbye. Bye-bye.